Hey there guys, in today's video I wanted to show you how to make a quick and easy PVC perch that you can easily attach to the side of your animal's enclosure. So if that's something you guys are interested in seeing, make sure to stick around because that's going to be coming up right after this. <music> Guys, this is Jack over at High Red Bird, where I am tirelessly working to find new ways to make the keeping of exotic animals and pets more exciting, more affordable, and ultimately more enjoyable. And in today's video, I wanted to show you guys how to build a quick and easy basic PVC perch. Uh, now, a perch like this is going to be a great option for a variety of different scenarios. If you have a bird that's in quarantine uh, and you want to make sure that everything in its enclosure can easily be uh, kept clean and disinfected. Uh, if you have something like a travel carrier where you want to make sure that you have something customized to fit a particular space, uh, this is going to be a great option for that. Uh, with perching, it is always important to remember that the greatest variety of perching you can provide is going to be in the best interest of this bird. So while I have shown you guys a variety of different perching types, different ways that you can utilize perching, I do encourage you guys to think about utilizing multiple types of perching in a particular enclosure or a particular environment for your bird. But this is a very simple project that does come together in just a few minutes. So if that is something that you guys wanna see, Let's go ahead and jump into how we're gonna put this together. So first and foremost, we need to start talking about the materials we're going to need to build this PVC perch. And you guys can guess, we're gonna start with some PVC. Here I've got about a one foot length of half inch PVC. This is a scrap piece of PVC. I'm gonna need two slip PVC end caps. Uh, and these are half inch PVC end caps. You wanna make sure that your fittings and your pipe match. We're gonna need some hardware. I am going to be using a stainless steel uh, machine screw for this project. It is an inch and a half long. The important things to remember, you wanna use stainless steel hardware and you wanna make sure that your hardware corresponds to each other. So I've got that stainless steel screw. I've got a stainless steel nylon threaded locking nut, a stainless steel wing nut, all of them are going to go together. Uh, so both the wing nut and the locking nut will screw onto that screw very easily. Uh, your PVC may try to run away, but it's in theory inanimate, so it'll be fine. We have the stainless steel washers. You're also gonna need two of those. You wanna make sure that your stainless steel washers are going to have an opening on the inside that can accommodate that screw but you want the wing nut and the locking nut to both be larger than the opening of those washers. Uh, so the way this is going to work, the locking nut is going to end up securing that screw into place on an end cap. The washers are going to be sandwiched on either side of the bar spacing of your cage, uh, one washer on the inside, one on the outside, and that wing nut will keep everything tight. You are going to need a drill for this project to put that hole into that end cap. You just wanna make sure that your drill is bigger than the shaft of your screw so it'll fit through easily, uh, but smaller than the other hardware, the wing nut and the locking nut that we're going to be using. Uh, you are going to need materials to tighten that screw. Since it has a Phillips end on one side, I'm gonna be using a Phillips screwdriver. And you are also going to need the oldest, most ratchet pair of pliers or wrench that you guys can find. Uh, if you guys wanna make this non-stick, you may also need vet wrap and a pair of scissors. So when it comes to putting this together, first and foremost, if you are putting this together somewhere like your dining room table, make sure you have something to protect that table. Now, when you go to drill into the end of a PVC end cap, it can sometimes be a little bit slick. Uh, sometimes it's rounded. It can be a little bit scary. So just make sure you take your time, uh, use your best judgment on what's gonna be the best way for you to drill through that. Uh, here you guys can see I was going pretty slow. Ultimately, I ended up going through the inside of the end cap rather than the outside. 
Now you want to try to get this as close to the center as possible. If it's not exactly in the center, it's not the end of the world. This will still work. Uh, your perch may just have a little bit of an angle. The good news is, in the wild, perches have angles too, so your bird will be fine with it. Now you're going to want to go ahead and take your uh, your machine screw that we are using for this project. Uh, it is one and a half inches long, uh, so you guys can see it fits through that end cap nicely. It gives me enough room that I can then attach all of my other hardware, but it's not going to create this massive piece of stainless steel that's sticking through the side of the cage. Now I am gonna hold on to that nylon threaded locking nut with one side and use a screwdriver on the other to tighten this by hand. I'll repeat that. I'm going to tighten this by hand. It does take a little bit of time, but if you guys try to use a shortcut of using the drill with a Phillips attachment to tighten this screw, there is a very good chance that you can over tighten this screw. That locking nut will end up cracking your PVC end cap, and then you will have to go to the hardware store to get another PVC end cap, only to find out that that hardware store is completely out of PVC fittings, and you have to go to a hardware store even further away. Um, it, in theory, in theory, that can happen. I don't know why I would have this much anger about it otherwise. Um, but now that you have that bolt secured with that nylon threaded locking nut, uh, you guys can see the rest of the hardware goes really simply. We're going to use the two washers. One will be on the inside of the cage. One will be on the outside of the cage. And then that wing nut will keep everything in place. So we're going to have a pretty secure piece of perching. Now, this is a very small perch, so I am not using any glue or adhesive. I am just going to push it together as much as I can. Um, the good news is that uh, you can usually get this to hold together really, really well with just a little bit of force. Now to make this non-stick, I am going to be using a piece of vet wrap. Uh, and honestly, before I did this video, I probably should have found the end of the vet wrap because that can be a challenge in and of itself, but I'm pretty impressed with how quickly I was able to do that. Now I'm just gonna wrap this perch in vet wrap. I am going to uh, cut it when I get to the end. And it's really important that you start and end with a good amount of vet wrap overlapping itself because it does adhere to itself. So I'm gonna go ahead, make sure I've got a good amount at the start and the finish. And I usually like to run my hand along the entire thing just to make sure that it is really well adhered to itself. All right, guys, so as you can see, this perch comes together very, very quickly. Uh, one thing I do want to point out, personally, I am not particularly comfortable leaving my bird perches inside their enclosure that are going to be covered in vet wrap. And the reason for that is that inside the bird's enclosure is somewhere where I may leave that bird when I go to work, if I go to run errands. Uh, so if it's something like a play gym, something that I'm going to be supervising my bird on, I'm a lot more comfortable with using that vet wrap as a cover to give a little bit of texture. And the great thing about the vet wrap is if it gets dirty, if you need to replace it, um, you can cut it off and replace it. Uh, you can cut that off. This entire perch can then go in the dishwasher to sterilize the entire thing. So there's a lot of great options there. Uh, and the fun thing about the vet wrap is that it does come in so many different colors. Uh, and I know we all have opinions. So guys, if you're making perches for your bird at home, I would love to know What's your favorite color of that wrap to use for your perches? Uh, if you have an opinion, go ahead, put that in the comment section down below. I certainly hope you guys found this video useful and instructive. Again, it's a really simple idea that you can put together in just a few minutes, but it's definitely one of those skills that building is going to help you provide so many different things for your birds. Uh, and that's what it's all about at the end of the day, providing a variety of different things for our birds. So I do want to thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you like this video, go ahead, give it a thumbs up. Uh, it helps other people to find these videos. Uh, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already, because I am putting out new videos on animal care every single week. So you guys definitely don't want to miss out on that. And I look forward to seeing you guys next time. I do need to say thank you to my Patreon patrons for helping to make these videos possible. You can find out more by visiting High Red Bird on Patreon or clicking the link 
in the description section down below if you would like more information. Thanks!